2023 election, Nigerians will be shocked that ANEC removes Labour Party's logo from ballot papers. Hey, my God. This is really shocking. The Labour Party in Lagos State on Thursday condemned ANEC for omitting the party's logo from the Senate and the House of Representatives ballot papers ahead of Saturday's general elections. The news agency of Nigeria, NAN, reports that INEC took delivery of sensitive materials for the presidential and national assembly elections scheduled for Saturday on Wednesday. At a news conference in Ikeja, Lagos State, Labour Party Chairperson Pastor Dio called on INEC to reschedule the election until the party's candidate were included on the ballots. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Labour Party in Lagos State on Thursday condemned INEC for omitting the party's logo from the Senate and House of Representatives ballot papers ahead of Saturday's general elections. The news agency of Nigeria, NAN, reports that INEC took delivery of sensitive materials for the presidential and national assembly elections scheduled for Saturday or Wednesday. At a news conference in Ikeja, Lagos State, the Labour Party pe uh, chairperson, Pastor Dio, called on INEC to reschedule the election until the party's candidates were included on the ballots. According to her, as Nigerians prepare to go to the polls on Saturday to elect a new president and members of the Senate and House of Representatives, the Labour Party is decrying the fragrant exclusion of the candidate of the Labour Party National Assembly from the ballot papers. Dio called out INEC to either correct what she described as an abnormal or rescheduled the National Assembly elections. This malicious error was found out this morning in Lagos by me and my team of executive members during the routine inspection of election materials. It was at the time of inspection that it was discovered that the Labour Party was not listed for the election for the Senate and House of Representatives in Lagos State. This is unacceptable and a wicked way of disenfranchising Lagos electorates. It is imaginable that for the elections slated for Saturday, February 25th, the Lagos electorate will only vote for the Labour Party presidential candidate as INEC made no provision for the election of the party's Senate and House of Representatives candidate. We cannot accept this as we do not believe that INEC made a mistake, but rather a deliberate, malicious and intentional act by INEC at disenfranchising our supporters from exercising their civic right, which is unacceptable, Dyer said. She added that further checks on the INEC website revealed that the list of names of the members of the Lagos Labour Party National Assembly was not uploaded, even as a list and court orders for some were duly submitted to INEC and acknowledged. You will call. You will all recall how we have severely pointed out the base displayed by the current INEC ROEC in Lagos State towards our party and its increasing attacks on our leaders that have constantly pointed out these bias in the past and the current onslaught on our party. In this, the result of the 
culmination of those attacks. We call on all stakeholders, foreign observers, lovers of democracy, and the international community to quickly wade in and call INEC to do the needful. Dayo Eyong said. Now report that the event was attended by the party's governorship candidate, other candidates, and state ed- executive committee members. This is really very bad. This is really very, very bad. Now they are not just telling them that, see, you are not wanted. And uh, don't also forget that Lagos is the APC base. Ashewe Jubola Ahmed Tinubu. This is really very wrong. All these games have to stop. Nigerians have to stop all these games. Why would they do such a thing? Where are the lawyers of Labour Party? They should go to court immediately to put in motion necessary injunction to either stop or make INEC reprint or reschedule voting for the Senate and the House of Rep and others and all that. This is wrong. This is really very, very wrong. Okay. This is a, a fatal error. It is not correct before, if it's not correct before 25th, before February 25th, then the National Assembly elections in Lagos will have to be rescheduled. Okay, someone just dropped that. INEC wants to rig this election. The world is watching. Exactly. If you just, their body language is, is saying it. Their body language is saying it. Even the report that emerged from Anambra states yesterday, you will understand what they are up to. But now God, now you pass everybody. You understand? Now God, now you pass everybody for this matter. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for watching.